Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have another budget store find. This time it's Parks and Recreation Party Game for ages 14 plus for three to six players. It's game night, so treat yourself. Again, I picked this up for $2.99 at the budget store. The retail value there was $19.99 when it was originally sold, but I got it for $2.99. It says again, ages 14 plus, three to six players, 30 minutes, Parks and Recreation party game. Adorable little Sebastian figure is included. Remember what's important in life, friends, waffles, and fork. Experience your favorite moments from the hit TV show in this party game. Pick one of Pond's famous parks and re recreation projects and recruit colleagues to help. Work on the highest profile, profile jobs and earn sweet rewards. When little Sebastian has finished eating, the game ends and whoever has the best waffles wins. And this is brought to you by Universal and Funco Games. Go to FuncoGames.com for more information. It was released in 2022. So, let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. And we got some instructions right off the bat. I do like I do like the picture, uh, the artwork included. Very very cool. Park. I never saw an episode of Parks and Recreation. Never saw it. I've heard rave reviews about it, so I'm going to have to check it out at some point in time. But again, saw this for what was it? For two ninety nine. I said, ah, let me pick it up and see what it's all about. So it's a party game. Let's see what it says inside the instruction book. It's set up. All right. How to set the table up. Nice color, full color diagrams. Do your shuffle, place the Jerry Gergich card face up next to the doo doo deck. A bunch of other stuff here. How to play. Learn to play with a quick video or continue reading these instructions. So I've got a funcogames.com backslash play parks and recreation. That will tell you or just scan the barcode. How to win. Complete projects to earn waffle rewards. You'll need to work with your colleagues, but if you take the credit, you'll earn better rewards. When little Sebastian finishes eating, the player with the most points on their waffle wins. Okay. Playing around. Important, if you can complete a goal on your turn, you must do it, even if you have to recruit other players' cards. Let me give you examples. If you complete a goal, important. Each character can only have one token on each project. If your token is already on a project, do not add another one, even if you completed another goal on that project. If your card has a promotion. End of round, waffle rewards. JJ Star Spangled Waffle is worth five to seven points. The Buttery Waffle is worth three to five points. And a Plain Waffle is worth one to three points. Character bonus. If your character card has a symbol matching any goal on the project, whether you've completed that goal or not, take, take an extra plain waffle. And end the game. Start a new round. See Hall of Visitors. Ending the game. The game, oh, excuse me. The game ends when little Sebastian eats the last waffle in the row or there are no plain waffles left in the supply. All players flip over their waffle tokens and add up their points. The player with the most points wins. If there is a tie, the tied player with the most waffle tokens wins. If there's still a tie, the tied players share the victory. There you go. All the fine people who brought you the game. And you got components and another beautiful picture of a park. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pages of instructions. Not too bad. There's your instruction book. Then you also have your your project folders, your Pawnee. It's a City of Pawnee Parks and Recreation Projects. Catering, three forks, music, three guitars. Edward Phelps Senior Center's Valentine's Day Dance. All right, there's one. Over. Pawnee Harvest Festival. 
perfect holiday gift. Here you have public support and catering. Over here you had catering, music, and sponsorship. Sponsorship, public support, and catering. This is uh, Founders Week Parade. Public support, personnel, and cut the red tape. Pawnee time capsule. Personnel, public support, music. And we have Farewell Little Sebastian Memorial Concert. Music, public support. Again, Pawnee Commons Gala and Auction. Not sure what these chairs mean on the bottom here. I'm noticing some have a star, have some have a square circles on them. Depending on what it is, I'm not sure what those mean. You'll have to read the rule book. Let's see what that's all about. Personnel, sponsorship, and cut the red tape. Smalls Park in Indiana. Public support, personnel, and catering. Pony annual Easter egg hunt. Cut red tape music personnel. Children's concert series. Cut the red tape personnel. Grizzle and Grizzle. Grizzle corporate headquarter pitch. Catering cut the red tape personnel. Again, Galentine's Day. Operation Playground, personnel and sponsorships. Pawnee Eagleton Unity Concert. Music sponsorships and public support. Some of them also have an ID badge here, and some have a have a have a a good luck symbol there, the horseshoe. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking back at them. Some have horseshoes. Some just have horseshoe on them. Some have the ID badge on them. Yeah, so you got to be careful. There's another, those are another icon in all these. The chairs just noticed it here too. This one has a lucky horseshoe and the ID on it. This is for model government. Cut the red tape, catering and sponsorship. Music, cut the red tape, public support. Pony Zoo Penguin Wedding. Again, you have the horseshoe. Pony Cares Diabetes Telethon. Sponsor Catering Music. And Parks Department Summer Catalog. Sponsor for Cut the Red Tape. And again, there's that. So these again are what you call your City of Pawnee Parks and Recreation. These are the projects that you have to complete. That's there. You have some different cards. You have your character cards. Your Jerry Gergich. Oops, you can't use Jerry until next round. And there he is. For those who watch the TV show, know this character. If you can't complete any goal, Jerry counts as one wild symbol. When used, flip this card face down okay so that's that card there you also get your different characters you get tom haverford donna meagle april ludgate ron swanson andy dwyer and leslie nope flip, flip over there so again Of course, all those characters have their different icons on them. There you have it. Okay, so those are your characters. I'll say all the characters from the TV show. And then we have a bunch of visitor badges. City Hall visitor, Chris Traeger. Each player takes a plain waffle, except the players with the most waffles. Gene Ralphio Saperstein. Whenever you take waffle rewards, a player in the rightmost seat takes an extra plain waffle. City Hall Visitor and Perkins. Each player shows their lowest card and from lowest to highest adds a token to an empty seat on the project they aren't already on. Okay, I get it now. Audit, Tammy Swanson won. Whenever you use a promotion, you may swap your token with the token two seats to the left instead. City Hall Visitor, Ben Wyatt. Each player may discard up to two waffles and take new waffles of the same types. Tammy Swanson, too. Everyone plays with their hand face up in front of them. 
Mona Lisa Saperstein before taking Waffle Rewards, reverse the order of the tokens on the seats. Shauna Malwe Tweep. Whenever you take Waffle Rewards, place the waffles in front of you with the number space up. Joan Calamezzo. Whenever you recruit at least two other player cards, take a plain waffle. Jeremy Jam, DDS. At the end of each round, draw up to only four cards instead of five. And Perd Halpley. At the end of each round, draw up to six cards instead of five. So you get a bonus card there. So these are different visitors coming to the City of Pawnee Parks and Recreation. There it is right there. So those are your, that's your visitor deck. And then of course we have our Pawnee to-do list. So it's got personnel, music, catering, sponsorship, public support, cut the red tape. All the fronts are the same. Let's take a look at the back. Personnel, sponsorship, don't know what that means. Maybe it's the card number, not sure, right up top there. It says personnel sponsor. They say you've got to spend money to make money. I don't know where we went wrong. Tom Howard for it. All right. So here's a bunch of those cards. Use personnel has different icons on it. Again, you have to read the instructions for further details as to what that means. Promotion. Everyone has a little saying on the bottom from different characters of the, of the show. So there you have that. Again, these are your to-do personnel, music, catering, sponsorship, spell. So I'm assuming you can get, use these um, when you're trying to accomplish one of these. You need you need some sponsorship, so you, that's a sponsorship one. And over here, you need the red tapes. You can't use this card for that one, I guess. Yep, so there you go. So those are your to-dos cards. And we also have a bunch of tokens. First off, we have our figure. Oh, hair not included. Put that off there. So there it is. Let's get one of those. people going on the seats you get your character that you put on so you got your Tom you got your Ron a bunch of these guys you got your Ron front and backs are the same they're kind of thick they're kind of thick not the best but you know they'll do for this kind of game I mean this is not a game you're gonna pull off the shelf very often but when you do pull it off uh, you know you'll have fun with it and these will be just fine for it all right, so we throw some of these up here again. I'm assuming you get, you, if you're going to play a certain character, you get the stack of these guys. They put down in the seats on the these cards here. So I'm going to pull those up just a little bit there. So I'm assuming you're going to take Andy and put Andy in the chair there like that. That's how that'll work. So that's what I'm assuming those are pulled now. Okay. So we got that. Again, I have not yet played this game, but I do intend to. It looks like it's going to be fun again i've never watched a tv show so probably i'll watch a couple of episodes of the show and then give it a shot with this game so there you go there's all your different characters got a bunch of those then we have waffles which have numbers on the back that's a plain waffle you got the star waffle Then you got your buttered waffle. Each one's worth different kinds of points. Back, it's got the number on a four. This one's got a five on it. These have got three, one, two. I guess that's the point value. So you get a bunch of those. You also have uh, some more of these waffles, more of them with different points on three and six. You also have ones that say this on it, it says, City of Pawnee, Indiana, 19, 1817. So you got a bunch of those too. Got one, two, I see three of these. A couple of those. Those are there. Again, you have your loads and loads of waffles of tokens. All of them have a different point value on the back of them. 
and two, three, fours, threes and fours, twos. Some are plain, some are Here's a couple more of those. There's another one of that one. There you go. And there's your waffles. Your little bag to keep everything in. And there's your pony right there. And right there, that's everything that's included in this unboxing of Parks and Recreation Party Game. It's game night. Treat yourself. So as always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed this uh, video, you can always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. You could also hit that subscribe button. This way you kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.